Hey yo, Peterson, hold up. Hey. Do me a favor. Keep him talking. We're gonna go through his ride real quick. Sure. Anything else, Nate? Yeah, Mike. Don't piss him off and make him lawyer up. No worries. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. Just try to be cool for like, like 10 minutes. Cool? Hey, Stanley. Sorry for the delay. A couple of quick questions we'll get you out of here. Great. The reason we asked you in, because you were observed driving over the 6th Street Bridge at 3.30 in the morning. And that's a crime? Of course not. But earlier, an officer in the area did observe what looked like a body falling from the bridge. Really? Where was the officer? First things first. Did you happen to notice anyone or anything on the bridge as you drove over it? No, can't say that I did. Okay. Can I ask why you're driving over the bridge at 3.30 in the morning? Sure, I couldn't sleep. And driving makes you sleepy? Sometimes. I hope it wasn't a suicide. What's that? I've read people jump from that bridge. Isn't that why they refer to it as the suicide bridge? How long have you lived here, Stan? Almost two years. Wife? Girlfriend? No, still single. Can I ask what you do for a living? Sure, I'm a computer consultant. What do you work for? Actually, I'm a freelance tech. So you work from home? I help people with their websites. Occasionally, I have to go out into the field. Or somebody buys a new computer and she or he needs help setting it up. How often would you say this happens? Varies, maybe once or twice a month. How do they get a hold of you? Word of mouth, mostly. If it's slow, I'll put an ad on Craigslist. Craigslist? You have to excuse me, I gotta take a piss. Coffee's running through me. Can I get you anything? Coffee, tea? Some water would be great. Hey, you never told me where that officer was who observed my car. Oh, I thought I did. I think he was down by the park. At 3.30 in the morning? I'll be right back. Right. Okay, thanks. How's it going in there? Good. Do me a favor, go on Craigslist and find uh, computer techs. See if our friend here placed an ad. What's the status on the car? Clean. However, there was a small bag of tools in the trunk along with a furniture pad. Ferny pad, huh? Well, I guess he does work with computers. How's the search going? Nada, but the divers should be in the water by now. Nothing like starting before daybreak, huh, Mikey? You got that right. Hey, well, what do you know? He changed his look. Check it out. Previous license. And it looks better without it. More innocent. Nice job, Weeks. Hey, do me a favor. Find out how many missing cases we've had in the past two years. Female. Sure. What's up, partner? Just playing a hunch. Ah, shit. And text me when they find the body. Will do. There you go, Stanley. Germ freak, huh? It comes with the territory. I always tell my customers that a clean drive is a happy drive. You can never be too careful. Yeah, I guess if more criminals were, it'd make my job a little tougher. What's that supposed to mean? Just a general observation. I usually pick up prints, hair samples, saliva off pics pretty readily. Since violent crimes are usually crimes of passion. Of course, if the pick hits the water, Coin toss. Interesting, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fact. It almost washes the body clean. Sometimes the only way we know there is a crime is if we get lucky. The perp left bruises on the neck, say. But a smart man wouldn't do that. Nah, he'd, uh, he'd perhaps use a little uh, chloroform. Say, for instance, gains access to her home. You know, to work on her computer or whatnot. Has a bag of tools. First thing he needs to do is a little clean up. Pulls out a rag, wipes the machine down. Would you like a glass of water? Yeah, sure. And when she's not looking, maybe she goes to the next room to get him a glass of water. He 
makes his move with the chloroform. Out she goes. Maybe. Rapes her. Well, maybe he just plays a little dress up in her clothes. You never know what gets a guy off. Never mind. Thanks. Of course, that's assuming that there's a body, right, Detective Gates? No body, no case, right? So they say. So they say. You know what's saying I like the most, though, Stanley? No? What's that? Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Huh.